Google is making VO2, its video generator, available in more places, and it's absolutely amazing. Just look at how beautiful these generations are. But it seems like a lot of you guys, including myself, have been struggling with it. Here's what you guys have been saying on my last video. I tried a fairly simple prompt and it didn't work well at all, even after three tries. Hopefully, it will get better. Unfortunately, it got laughably bad generations and then hit with water exceeded. I am not impressed. Now, this is all true if you don't know how to prompt for VO2 correctly. You might get horrible and poor quality generations that will make you think it's actually crap. So here's what we're going to do today to fix that. First, we'll quickly go through Google's documentation so you can understand how it works. And then we'll create a VO2 prompt optimizer that will do all prompting work for you. Just check this out. Generate a video of a sculpture coming to life in a museum and starting to do bodybuilding poses. Yeah, what the hell is that, Google? That looks awful. Now, let's enter this into our prompt optimizer, run it again, and now that's looking loads better. Generate a video of a girl snowboarding through fluffy clouds. Now, what the hell is happening here? Where's my snowboard and where are my fluffy clouds, Google? Let's hit the prompt optimizer again. And now this is what I'm talking about. It's any AI technology, of course it's not perfect yet, but you can definitely get much better generations and waste much less credits. So get a cup of coffee and let's get right into it. It's not a secret that the more details you put into your prompt, the better the outcome will be, because the AI doesn't have to guess so much what's happening. And VO2 is especially good at following detailed instructions, and I absolutely love that. So if we take a look at our Google documentation here, you'll see that the secret to a perfect generation every time is a well-optimized positive and negative prompt. So say I wanted video of a cute dragon perched outside an apartment window looking in curiously. So this is the generation I get without optimizing it. I mean, it looks absolutely terrible. And here's what we get after optimizing it. And I ran this prompt several times and it just comes out looking great every time. So here's what you can do to achieve that. There are four factors that are absolutely necessary to generate a great video. So first we've got our subject. This is the object, person, animal, or scenery that's at the center of your video. It's important to actually describe what the subject looks like instead of just saying dragon. So I'm gonna say something like small adorable baby dragon with textured brown scales, tiny horns and delicate wings and large gleaming eyes. Next, we've got to describe the background or context in which our subject is placed. So this is going to be something like perched gently outside on the exterior windowsill, looking into the apartment. Behind him is a blurred urban landscape, building cars and trees. Next, we've got our action. So what the subject is actually doing. Is it walking? Is it running? I've got eyes wide with wonder, its head slightly tilted, curiously peeks inside while simultaneously seeming mesmerized by what is happening in the room. His tiny claws rest delicately on the sill from the outside. Again, try to be as detailed as possible so the AI doesn't have to guess what the character is doing for you. And last we've got the style. This could be general or very specific. I'm just going to say highly realistic and photorealistic, emphasizing the dragon's skewed curious expression and detailed textures. That's it, but we've also got our optional factors that I think are equally as important. First, we've got a camera motion. This is basically what the camera is going to be doing in your video. It could be following your subject. It could be an aerial view. It could be more eye level. We've also got a composition. This is how the shot is going to be framed. Is it going to be more of a close-up or more from far away? And lastly, we've got our ambience. This is how the color and light contribute to your final scene. It could be blue tones, night or warm tones. So for all of these three, I'm just going to say that I'd like the camera to be static and a medium close-up shot. And for the ambience, sunlight, filters softly through the windows, casting gentle shadows. So here's our prompt well combined and organized. You can pause the video to go through this, but don't focus too much on the details because next we'll be creating a bot that will write all of the prompts for you. My dream is to create an AI community where we can help each other understand all of this latest technology. So if you're into that, hit that subscribe button and join our free WhatsApp group where we can chat about the latest AI tools and ask each other questions. 
The link's in the description. It's also a great idea to include a negative prompt to tell the AI what not to include in your video. And with VO2, you can't use instructive language or words like no or don't. What you have to do instead is add a list of keywords of things you wouldn't like to see in your video. So here in the example, they say, don't use words like no or don't. For example, no walls or don't show walls. What you should say is describe what you don't want to see, like wall or frame. So in our video, I wouldn't like it to be scary, I wouldn't like it to be an adult, and I also wouldn't like it to be like a cartoonish style. So this is my list of negative keywords. I wrote scary, menacing, monster, adult, dragon, drawing, painting, cartoon, etc. So basically the keywords that you wouldn't like to include in your video. So now that you know the basics, it's time to create a bot that will turn your bad original prompts into great ones. And all you need to do for this is write a list of instructions based on the documentation and examples. But I've already done that for you, so you can just go ahead and copy that in my free guide in the description. So there are several ways you could create this bot. If you have a paid subscription, you could either create a gem in Gemini or a GPT in ChatGPT, but we are going to do this the free way in Google AI Studio, even though I'm subscribed to both. So you're just gonna go to Google AI Studio, you're gonna start a new chat, and at the top here, you'll see the system instruction sign. So I'm just going to open that, copy and paste our instructions. Basically, the idea is you just enter a bad prompt and first the AI will ask you clarifying questions to create a great prompt according to the documentation. And if you're not sure of the details, you can just ask it to write for me. And what it will do, it will skip the questions and just fill out the details itself. So I'm just going to close this and let's just go ahead and run a test prompt so you can see how it works. So here is our original prompt. A cute bunny sipping coffee from a coffee cup. I've actually just run that and here's the outcome I got. I mean, if realistic, I will give it that, but it's also kind of creepy and definitely not what I wanted. So let's go ahead and send that prompt into our prompt optimizer. And that's just going to start thinking through it and give us a list of clarifying questions we need to answer. And it will also give you some ideas if you're not sure. So as you can see here, according to the documentation, it found the subject, the scene, the action, the style, the view. And all I have to do now is just to answer all of these clarifying questions in each category. So for example, for the bunny, it just asked me to clarify what color is it? Is it fluffy? Is it sleek? Has it got floppy or upright ears? How small is it compared to the coffee cup? So basically as many details as I can possibly provide. And also at the end here, it's gonna ask me what things I don't want to see for a negative keyword list. So I can just also enter that. And if I'm feeling lazy and I don't want to fill out all of these details, it will still optimize my prompt. It's not going to be perfect or exactly what I want, but I can just type in write for me right here. And what that's going to do is to create an optimized prompt without me answering the questions. For example, here's what it did without me answering the questions. So it just optimized it for me and it already looks so much cuter and not so creepy anymore. But actually I've got pretty specific vision for this. So I'm just going to answer the questions. So I've just answered all of these questions and here's the final prompt I've got. A static eye level medium close up shot captures an adorable fluffy grey bunny with upright ears standing on its hind paws next to a red takeaway coffee cup with a brown lid and a straw. The scene is set on a simple table against a softly blurred wall background based in warm afternoon light and creating a cozy feeling. The bunny rendered in a cute slightly stylized 3D character style while environments remain realistic. It's intently focused on sipping coffee through the straw. Its tiny cheeks puff in and out rhythmically as it drinks. The bunny is roughly twice the height of the coffee cup. And again, I didn't have to write this. I just answered a couple of of questions. It took me maybe 30 seconds. And here is a perfect prompt. And I've just run that. And here's the outcome I got. And I mean, compared to the original, this is absolutely amazing. I could also go back and forth and ask AI to change a couple of details. But overall, it's already looking amazing. You can also totally use images to create your prompts. So you can just go onto our video optimizer here, paste in the image that you'd like to recreate and just write roughly what you'd like to see. And the optimizer will generate the prompt for you. Then you can just either 
either copy that and paste it directly into VO2 or you can paste it along with the image. So go ahead and try out a prompt optimizer and let me know what you think. I'd love to know what results you're getting with it and if that has improved your VO2 experience somehow. I left a free setup guide and instructions in the description of this video. So try it out and let me know how it goes in the comments. If you thought this video was cool, wait until you see this one where I break down all of the latest Google AI features. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you there.